everybody. I got an email today from someone saying, hey, make sure you put in the newsletter that we have to put our clocks ahead one hour before we go to sleep on Saturday night. Ugh, I really can't stand doing that. It's one of the worst nights in the world because, hey, some of us have to get up early on Sunday and be there for church and get ready and so forth. So I'm sitting there looking at my clock saying, oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock. So that means it's really 11 o'clock. But those of you who know me know that it's really, oh no, it's two o'clock a.m. and it's really three o'clock a.m. I'm only gonna get two hours of sleep. At any rate, when we think about what's going on in the Ukraine, when we think about world starvation, world hunger, these are just minor inconveniences. And there's been a lot of uh, Americans getting upset over minor inconveniences lately, if we think about it. Dying over the fact that they have to might wear a mask or might have to get um, a shot. But even though we might have these minor inconveniences, we know that everything in life will always continue to change. How many of us thought we would ever see a pandemic? How many of us ever thought that we would see so much changing so quickly? Gas, you know, well over $4, those types of things. But there's only one constant, and that constant is the love of Jesus Christ, the love that Christ gives to us each and every day. Now, I know for a lot of you, you love spring. And I hear a lot of people talking about how much they like spring. And, and um, it's kind of a new birth of everything. And so uh, I'd like to play for you one of my favorite hymns. And it's my son, Seth's favorite hymn, For the Beauty of the Earth. And this is an arrangement I wrote for him uh, back in 2014. And um, the inscription is, For my son, may your imagination, passion for entertaining and love for music always burn bright for the world. That was in, back in 2014, and the same is so true of him today. So again, this is for the beauty of the earth. 